Hi. Wow, I am happy I'm sitting down mowing the grass. It's officially summer, and even more certain than summer sun is the confidence we can have that the grass will grow and someone will have to cut it. As seasons pass and each year rolls into the next, God caused me to other work and I got very busy. He loaded me with so much responsibility, I was exhausted and my interest in lawn maintenance was a pain. I began to see what God was doing and why the mowing was important for me. Maybe for you it's laundry, or children, or kitchen duties, or a job you really don't like, but God just seems to be urging you into it each day. I finally stopped complaining and started saying thank you. God does not call us to what we can't do in our own strength. He calls us to what we must do in His strength. It's not that God specifically cares about my grass mowing, although I do believe He has a great appreciation for garden, but what He does care about is being intimately involved in the details of your lives. He wants us to recognize that we need Him and for us to watch with amazement as He provides what we need to accomplish the task that He calls us to. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one speaks the very word of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus. To Him be the glory. God is developing our humility. In this world, we are told it's all about us, although in truth, it is rarely about us and what we want or think we need. My attitude was good when I had time to spare, but God wants us to serve with humility, even when we are spent and we don't feel like serving. Everything has purpose, and just because we can't comprehend it doesn't mean that purpose has no value. There is humility in submitting to God without questioning every command. It's how we learn to trust that the truly does know best. For me, along with learning humility, God made it clear that mowing the grass is great exercise and helps keep me strong for meeting the demands of the other work He has for me. And through my humility, I have found my health has benefited. God wants us to be productive. It's not that God is opposed to downtime our leisure activities, but in a culture where everything is bent toward self-gratification, pleasure, and comfort, we have lost sight of the importance of purpose and productivity Yes, we should spend time with our family. And, of course, downtime is important. But regular TV and movie is not constructive. 
hours of video gaming is not strengthening our faith and fi filling every free moment with shopping and entertainment will not build our character, nor the character of our children. Constructive activities teach us and grow us, whether it's grass mowing, a sport, creative, endurance, or some other task. It's important to remember something. It's the little things that mean the most, yet it may be years before we see the benefit of our sacrifice. God always has a plan. Have a good day and don't forget to mow your lawn with a smile. Thank you.